PPP and EIDL are back. And by all account, if the rumors are correct that I'm reporting exclusively on this channel, they'll be back on Monday under the second stimulus package. PPP and EIDL have been around before, and in this video I explain how to get EIDL, how to get PPP, what they are, and whether you qualify for them. They're in the second stimulus package, they were in the first stimulus package, but they'll be coming back additionally later this month, also in the third stimulus package for more businesses as well. Enjoy this special new video on Afternoons LA that goes over PPP and EIDL on purple. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I'm so excited for you with a special recording now on Purple about PPP and EIDL, now in prime time on this channel. A lot of people are asking about how do I get PPP? How do I get EIDL? Do I qualify for them? And what are they? This is that video you've been asking for. So please subscribe because around the clock when I'm trying to get you money, whether it is this or that, I'm trying to ensure you get every penny you can get as a Purple Hawk. Also like this video. Hit that alert button so you alert when I next go live, which is right after this video on Being a Mitch. And also, if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member, which is in the join link underneath this video to become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VRP. So what am I reporting? I've been reporting throughout the weekend that inside rumors that I've heard exclusively, you're only going to hear on this channel, is that EIDL will be back in the complete form for second stimulus Monday and PPP may launch as well on Monday. Wow, this is really exciting, great news. So what I'm going to do for you in this video is I'm going to go over EIDL first and then I'm going to go over PPP. But I'm first going to go over who qualifies for both of these things and where do you get them. First, who qualifies for these things? Anyone that files a 2019 tax return that was engaged in some sort of business that was impacted by the pandemic that uh, it was in existence at the time at which these programs have a mandated date, you can get the money provided you had a Schedule C or a corporate tax return in 2019. Schedule C appears on your personal tax return. Corporate tax return is separate, of course. So Uber, Lyft, Airbnb, Postmates, you had a Schedule C. Go get it. Go get it. All right, let's then turn to where do you get the money? Well, the applications for PPP are done through private lenders, and EIDL is done on SBA.gov. What are private lenders? Among the private lenders that have done a PPP before are Fundera, Fundi, Funding Circle, Blue Vine, Lendio, Cabbage, and Cross Creek. And so ultimately, you need to determine who's a good fit for you, but there they are. All right, with that, let me get to all the details on what's going on and how you apply. EIDL, first let me go over the application for EIDL, and let me go over the eligibility. It's a little bit complicated, because you've heard me talk about EIDL almost nonstop since this channel launched. And let me explain to you where we are right now on EIDL. Up until Friday, EIDL loan was open for everyone. Then on Friday, they added to the EIDL loan application the words agricultural. They have not yet added the words for low-income low community businesses. I'm reporting that that's going to be added on Monday. Under the second stimulus package bill, law, <laughs> they're doing EIDL grants for agricultural, and for businesses in low-income communities. The grants are not currently live on the SBA website. There is one application. It is the Streamline application. You apply for the loan in order to get the grant. When applying for the loan, if you're denied the loan, you still get the grant. There's only one application called the Streamline application. Remember, as I'm just saying to you right now, the second stimulus package is only open for grants, grants 
for businesses and low-income communities and agricultural. The EID alone is open for everyone, but it's only one application. So you go to sba.gov, you look for economic injury disaster, you see the streamlined application, you click on it. The first question it's going to ask is, what type of business are you? This is one of the most important questions during the entire process. If you're agricultural, you click the button agricultural. If you are low-income community businesses, you wait until the form gets changed, presumably on Monday, because it's not yet open for that group. It doesn't have that line item. And then anyone else that wants an EIDL loan can click the either independent contractor, that's Airbnb or Uber or Lyft, or small business owner, 500 employees or less. Very, very simple. All right, so what's going to happen thereafter? And this is where it gets a little complicated, so I'm going to go slowly. Once we see EIDL application change to have a line item for low-income community businesses, then at that point, you're likely to also see that same day the EIDL page say the advance, which is another word for grant, is now reopened. If you actually go to the SBA website, it says now the grant is used up. There's no money. So by all accounts, they're not paying the money. But what I'm reporting to you is if you apply as an agricultural person right now for the loan, which is the same form for the grant, that you will get the grant as early as next week when they reopen the grant. And then as soon as they open the application for the inner city, then in low-income businesses, low-income community businesses, you will get the grant as well. All right, so with that, hopefully you're still with me because I'm now going to go to the obvious questions I get. I applied for EIDL last May as a non as a non agricultural as a non low income business. When am I getting my money? For everyone that is anything but those two environments I just described, agricultural and low income businesses, you need to wait to late January to get the remainder of your $10,000 grant. It's not going to happen now. It's going to come under Biden stimulus. That's for people who applied and got $1,000 and didn't get the remainder of the $10,000. And that's for people who did not apply because they couldn't apply. Now, here's one twist, which I'm also reporting, and this makes it even more confusing. I'm reporting that if the EIDL grant goes live on Monday, which I believe it is, according to my sources, for low income and agricultural, that they will at that point have the funds to pay the $1,000 per employee to the people who applied for the grant when it was open in May and never got the money. Do you have to reapply to get the grant? No. You do not have to reapply to get the grant. Is there something wrong with reapplied? No. In the past before, where viewers reapplied, all they got was a denial of the new application, and it says duplicate application, but that often triggered the prior application to being found and being paid upon. So, bottom line, are you going to get the manager of the $10,000 EI deal grant now? No. When will you? Under third stimulus package under Biden in late January. What is EI deal going to open for now? It's going to be open for agricultural farmers, and it's going to be open for businesses, low-income communities. When will that open? Well, the agriculture is open now for the loan, not the grant, but you can apply now to get in line for the grant, but the low-income is not yet live, and I'm not quite sure how they're going to do it either. So really exciting, great news. This is breaking across the board. You're not going to hear this detail anywhere, and it's really just jaw-dropping. All right, let's turn to PPP. PPP actually requires you to inform them if you got an EIDL as well. That is the only instrument. <laughs> it's the only instrument you're going to hear me talk about on this channel. Can you get this and this? Can you get that and that? Can I get SSI and a semester? Can I get rent and utility? Can I get... Yes, 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 yes. Oh, PPP is the only one where you have to say, oh, you got EIDL as well. Why? Because then they deduct the EIDL from your PPP. All right, what is PPP? It's Paycheck Protection Program. Who writes PPP? Those private banks that I went over earlier in this video, Fundaria and Cabbage and Lendia, people like that. How do you, who is it for? Everything that I, the same type of people that got the EIDL, the same type of people can get the PPP as well. 
How does it work and when is it going to go live? My inside sources say it will go live on Monday. But what the, what the, what the thin banks want you to do is get your application on file with them now so that when it goes live, they submit the application. Let me explain it even simpler. What they do, the thin banks, is they ask you to fill out their application their application and that ultimately they submit it to SBA and SBA says fine yeah they filled out everything fine that's fine SBA comes back and says sign this find this sign this final page and your PPP application is done and then you get the money literally in 24 hours so let me go over some stuff examples of very very helpful information on understanding how to do a PPP and this is courtesy of Cross Creek um, is filling out a pre-application now helpful? Yes. Providing the requested information and filling out the first two pages of the application will assist in streamlining the application process ahead of time. Uh, upon a, a completing the application, applicants will receive an email concerning confirmation, and then they'll be informed when SBA goes live with PPP. Um, when you submit a pre-application with these thin banks, you're not approved. You're just getting the, the application part ready. When will I be able to complete the final part of the PPP application? When the when SBA goes live with PPP, am I eligible for a PPP if in this round if I did if I did not receive a previous PPP? Yes, this round second stimulus is open for both first time PPP and second time PPP. Please note the requirements for first time borrowers and second time borrowers are different. Mm -hmm. All right, I received my first PPP through a different lender. Can I apply through a second for a second PPP with a different company? Yes. You may still apply for second round B, regardless of if you got it for a different lender. What are the loan terms? Guarantee percentage is 100%, no collateral, no personal guarantee, interest rate is 100%, basic point, maturity is five years. Um, what type of businesses are eligible um, as a first time? Those are small businesses, nonprofits, veterans, tribal concerns, small agricultural operations, sole proprietors, self-employed independent individuals or independent contractors. And during this round, they're also including 501c6s, DMOs, housing operatives, newspapers, broadcasters, and radio stations. Also, first-time borrowers to qualify for eligibility, they may employ no more than 500 employees. Really helpful information. If I want to be a first-time person, how a first-time uh, PPP applicant, when did I have to be doing business by? By February 15th. Okay, what is the maximum amount I can qualify for? Up to $2 million. What expenses am I allowed to get under PPP? Uh, payroll, rent, mortgage and utilities. Also, software. This round has new stuff. Software, cloud computing, human resources, county needs, property damage due to dis public disturbances, um, covered equipment, PPPE, and other items. What do I need to show eligibility? Um, in the previous round, 300 employees or less, things like that. How does a, seasonal, does a seasonal employer calculate the maximum PPP amount? There's guidance about that from the lenders. Will I, appro will I be approved for a PPP loan if my business is in bankruptcy? No. Um, what is the rules for faith-based exemptions? Um, there's actually certain rules for that. I'm not going to go through that, but that's sort of interesting. Uh, there's a definition of what payroll costs are. And it does include things that it also says certain things that are excluded for payroll, which is really important. Those payroll items include wages, salaries, cash tips equivalent, vacation or parental sick leave, payment for local state taxes and things like that. When do I have to pay principal interest on the PPP? You have to submit to your lender an application within 10 months after the end of your loan forgiveness covered period, uh, within 10 months of your loan forgiveness period. So if you get the loan written you know, in the next uh, week and, PP and, and SBA goes live, you would have 10 months to submit for forgiveness. At that point, it turns to free money, a grant. If you have questions and want me to do more of these PPP videos, I will do them. <laughs> it took a little ramping up for me to remind myself. 
on PPP. I haven't done them since April of last year, so it's a little bit of like uh, deja vu all over again, as, as one would say. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe. Also like this video. Meantime, if you're not a Purple Hawk, a Purple Power, or, or a Calcio VIP, go to the front, go hit that join link and become one as well. And I'll see you next on live recording of being a Mitch. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay valley for more.